They are a controversial food vendor with a big state contract. And tonight, Aramark is in the spotlight for serving filthy food. Some are calling for that contract to be canceled. Southern investigator Ross Jones is here now with this story tonight. Ross. As Aramark serves meals to all the state's prisoners, and while you might not have much sympathy for them, you should care about what we feed them. That's because prisoners served contaminated food can end up costing taxpayers much more through hospital bills, even litigation. The contract with Aramark has been riddled with uh, tons of different types of, of issues. The private contractor hired to give meals to state prisoners is in the news again today, and it's not for the right reasons. Emails obtained by the liberal-leaning group Progress Michigan show that an employee of Aramark Correctional Facilities fed cake to state inmates after it had been chewed on by rodents. According to emails, the employee ordered staff to, quote, cut the sides of the cake off and serve it to the population. The meal was served at the Central Michigan Correctional Facility near the town of Alma back in July, but state officials say no incidents of food poisoning were ever reported, and the employee was barred from returning to work that day. Aramark later fired him. For nearly a year, the company's state food contract has been mired in controversy, from food shortages to food poisoning, even maggots found in the kitchen. Lonnie Scott is director of Progress Michigan. It all comes back to the fact that Aramark is paid with our tax dollars. And so this is really about accountability of a private corporation who is making tons of profit uh, off of our tax dollars, not fulfilling the job that they were hired to do. And Aramark's problems haven't always been limited to food. Two of its employees were charged after smuggling drugs into state prisons, including heroin and cocaine. And last summer, four employees were fired for having sex with inmates in a walk-in cooler. Scott says Governor Rick Snyder needs to take action now. I wish that they would cancel the contract, uh, that they would look at this as an abject failure of the privatization experiment that they've done here in Michigan, um, and that they would uh, really see the error in what's going on in our prison system. A Department of Corrections spokesman told me today that the state acted within 45 minutes of this incident, having the employee removed and ordering that the kitchen be cleaned, even calling an exterminator. Despite the latest calls that this contract be canceled, there are no signs tonight that it will be. Thank you, Ross. Okay, Ross, thanks.